The Infusion series incorporates a wireless interface system that allows the MHG or DBC grinders to load certain information into the chip located inside the splash guard of the funnel. This information includes what flavor of coffee is being ground and what batch size will be brewed, such as small, medium, or large. The soft heat brewer is able to brew both hot tea and coffee with recipe settings and has the following features volume bypass percentage, pre-infusion and pulse brew, and an LCD screen for digital readout and programming, along with the smart funnel options for coffee. Other features include an energy saving mode, freshness timer, language and units, brew lockout, funnel and server detect, soft heat empty detect, soft heat auto off, server preheat, enable ads, and sanitation alert. The soft heat system is also BunLink compatible with Smart Reader compatible. The soft heat system is for indoor use only and must be on a level counter or shelf. Be sure to install the system in an area where there are no water jet devices. The system must be disconnected from all power sources before plumbing hookup. Finally, for proper operation, the system must be installed where the ambient temperature is between 41 degree Fahrenheit to 95 degree Fahrenheit. 5 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Let's begin our installation by hooking up the soft heat system to the plumbing. The brewer must be connected to a cold water system with an operating pressure between 20 and 90 PSI from a 1 half inch or larger supply line. If the pressure is greater than 90 PSI, install a regulator line to reduce the pressure to 50 PSI. Next, install the shutoff valve in the line before the brewer. A reverse osmosis machine or deionized water supply is not recommended with this equipment. Once the shutoff valve is in place, begin by flushing the water line. Then securely attach the adapter elbow assembly to the water supply line located at the rear of the brewer. Now that the plumbing is ready, we can hook up the system to our electrical outlet. Please note, when hooking up the machine, an electrician must provide the electrical service Begin by using a voltmeter to check the voltage and color coding of each conductor at the electrical source. Connect the power cord and verify the voltage at the field wiring terminal block. We are now ready for the initial setup. Begin by inserting an empty funnel into the funnel rails of the brew stations and place the empty server or servers under the funnel or funnels. Make sure that the corresponding enable brew on off switch is on which will be indicated by the lit LED light. Water will begin flowing into the tank and will stop when the tank is filled to its capacity. The display will show please wait tank filling and will disappear when the tank is full. Wait approximately 25 minutes for the water in the tank to heat to the proper temperature or until the LCD display reads ready to brew water temp 200 degrees. Please note some water may drip from the funnels during this time. That is normal due to expansion and should not occur thereafter. Now place a small vessel beneath the faucet and open the faucet handle. Release it when you hear the tank refilling. To perform the spray head and bypass calibration, start by ensuring the spray head is installed and verify the correct one is being used. Insert an empty funnel into the rails. Place empty graduated vessel, minimum 128 ounces, under brew funnel. To begin, press and hold the right hidden button until the display reads Recipes. Then press and hold the right hidden button until the display reads Calibration and press Select. Display reads Spray ounces per minute. The number represents what the brewer thinks is the flow rate out of that spray head. Select the menu by depressing the center hidden button until Spray Head Cal screen appears. Select the menu by depressing the center hidden button. Note, use the upper right hidden button to scroll to the desired left or right spray head or bypass calibration menu. Once desired calibration menu is displayed, select by depressing the center hidden button to prompt container ready message. Depress the button under yes. Ensure graduated vessel is empty now. Follow the prompted screen to start, press brew to begin the 60 second dispense procedure. After the 60 second dispense procedure, measure away the collected volume and enter the amount into the enter ounce menu 
by utilizing the minus or plus buttons. When finished entering the amount, press the center button under Done. The brewer will display new spray or bypass ounces per minute flow rate. The brewer calibration procedure is now complete. Your soft heat brewer and server system is now ready for use.